While most major players of the Jihad are old, ancient by human standards, some do stand out as being particularly gifted or lucky enough to come out relatively on top. While any kindred's existence is tinged with misery and regret, some refuse to let themselves be swallowed by their beast, nor become callous and hardened to human misery. Pilar Ramona Salvador was born in 1981 and embraced in 98, but has in only a scant few years survived several events that have left others far older and more powerful than her dead. Within a year of her embrace, while leaving Los Angeles, the city of her birth, one of her coterie members, Eddie, was killed as they had stopped briefly in Texas. The killer was a lupine, and it was only by the skin of their teeth that Ramona and her friends Jen and Darnell managed to escape, continuing their journey east. None of these vampires knew what they were, nor did they know anything about the Camarilla, Sabat, or the Jihad. Whatever they knew, they had learned through trial and error, and even as they reached New York City, they were blissfully unaware of the war that was raging between the two sects, although they ran into combatants from both sides. Eventually, Ramona encountered her sire Tanner, who had been watching her from afar, and while he did instruct her in a few things, she quickly grew frustrated with him and his obtuse manner, despite him saving her from the Sabbat. During her time in New York, Ramona had gotten into the habit of keeping watch over a young woman named Zavon. Zavon lived with her mother in Harlem and reminded Ramona of herself. Ramona had been half living on the streets of Los Angeles, keeping a low profile and rarely getting into fights with the gangs of the city. Eventually, Ramona could no longer contain her hunger for blood, and she approached Zavon, possibly intending to feed off of her, yet at that moment she was pierced by a stake as a monster with one massive swollen eye spirited the young woman away as Ramona lay helpless on the ground. Tanner rescued her once more, chiding her for wanting to find and rescue Zavon, but Ramona ignored him, gathering her friends as they went in search of the monster. While they did find him, Events quickly spiraled out of control, and Ramona did not simply lose Zavon, but Jen and Darnell as well. Lost, wounded, and confused, she was found by other Gangrel as Tanner summoned a rebel, bringing them from near and far. One of the Gangrel who answered this call to fight the monster was Xavier, the Archon of their clan, and as they prepared for war, Ramona was inducted into the clan proper. She learned more about her clan, about her nature, and the powers at her command, Yet her newfound family barely lasted the night as they were massacred at the hands of Leopold, the monster, who could bend the earth as easily as he could flesh. Xavier survived, if only thanks to Ramona, and this event is what led up to his declaration for the Gangrel to leave the Camarilla. Ramona, meanwhile, was burdened with a litany of names, a list of all those who had fallen that night. She became their reciter, and for a long time after, it was her duty to tell every gangrel she met of their sacrifice. And while Ramona was officially inducted into the clan, that did not mean that she would follow Xavier's lead, and she set out to join several other kindred in bringing down the monster that had destroyed her friends, her clan, and the one mortal she had ever cared about. Together with Theo Bell, the Bruja Archon, and Hesha Ruhadze, a follower of Set Collector and trader of rare kindred artifacts, Ramona traced down Leopold. Hesha had indeed been the intended recipient of the eye that was the source of Leopold's powers, but during the Sabbat's attack on Atlanta, it had fallen into the hands of the young artist who had quickly grown corrupted due to its influence. Using a knife Hesha had given her, and exploiting a moment of weakness as Leopold saw his muse, and the woman he thought was his sire, Victoria Ash, Ramona severed the eye from the socket of Leopold's skull, killing the artist and rendering the eye of Hazimel inert. As Ramona left to continue her wanderings, and to find a new purpose with her vengeance seen through, the eye fell into the hands of Hesha, and would remain hidden until years later where it would be returned to its master. Ramona eventually made her way back to Los Angeles and became a member of the local anarchy community. Having made several friends among the gangrel during her journey across the US, she had by then grown significantly, having no problem talking back to Beckett, who approached her to learn more about the Eye of Hazimel, under the pretenses of wanting to learn about the Anarch Free State. It was also here, in LA, that Ramona found that she had a knack for understanding politics, even if she herself rarely wanted to get involved. She quickly ascertained the local power structure, and through meeting other kindred, and some deduction, she also learned to pick up some of the major flaws of the Free State, 
information she gladly shared with anyone asking, knowing that most barons were too stuck in their ways to listen to one as young as herself. Ramona got Beckett up to date with the goings on in Los Angeles, and in return asked that, asked that he bring her with him when he left. A small note by the Anarch damsel to Beckett seemed to indicate that Ramona had made few friends among the more hardline Anarchs, and while not entirely clear, it is hinted in the diaries of Beckett that she later helped him in an archaeological dig, which seems to indicate that she did indeed leave Los Angeles behind. Fast forward to the year 2018, however, and Ramona was once again back in Los Angeles, where she got herself involved with the coterie of Victor Temple, Nelly G, Annabelle, and Jasper Hartwood. Although Ramona had encountered Jasper earlier, he was not aware of who she was when she openly confronted the coterie in the basement of the Maharaja. As the coterie had essentially drawn attention to her haven in the city, an old abandoned factory, she wanted compensation and was given as much by Temple, who allowed her to keep a temporary haven in the Maharaja. Eventually Ramona was handed the keys to Griffith College, the domain of Temple and the coterie, as he had by then become the newest baron in the city, having been given the domain of the valley by Baron Isaac Abrams. Because of her ability to manipulate animals, rats especially, Ramona had developed quite an extensive information network, employing her Rat Pack to stalk and listen in on mortal and kindred conversation. Ramona also found the campus of Griffith College a pleasant change of pace to her usual haunts, using much of her time there to mingle with the mortals and to re-experience college life. Although little has been seen of Ramona since she took over as the Warden of Griffith College, she aided the Valkyries Sycorax and Casey, as well as Annabelle, in tracking down and punishing the drug-dealing kindred Rags. Deciding not to kill him, they instead made Ramona bloodbond him, having him work for her and the Valkyries from then onward. Ramona may be young, but the things she has seen and done have hardened her to vampiric unlife substantially, without depriving her of her humanity. Even so, many scars she carries from these events will take time to heal, if they ever will.